Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining me today on my segment with Craft Around the Clock. Hello everybody, how are you? My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's and welcome to my page everyone. Thank you so much for joining. If you're watching this and you don't see that red live button up there in the corner, that means you're watching on the replay. And if you could just put in the comments, hashtag replay, just so I know you're watching and I can say hello to you. Hello, everybody. And if you're new to the page, please put in the comments that you're new so I can I could know that and I can welcome you to um, yesterday's tomorrow's. Hold on, everybody. I almost forgot. Let me just get some of this out of the way here. Hold on, ladies. Alrighty, today we're going to be doing some stenciling from Essential Stencils. And we're going to do a transfer from Essential Stencils 2. Um, so we got a lot of work to do. We're going to do some checks. Oh, we got a lot of stuff to do today. All right, so let's pull this up. Okay, so this is going to let me pull this up today. We don't know. Hello, Jesse. How are you? Thanks for coming on, everybody. Let's go. And there we go. I pulled you all up. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining. And like I said, guys, if you're new, please could you just let me know that you're new so um, we can all welcome you to yesterday's tomorrow's. Hello, Dana. I'm doing well today. How are you doing today? Here in New Jersey, oh, we might be getting a little bit of snow, our first snow of the season, guys. So um, it's very cloudy here. We're just waiting. Not so much, but a, just a little bit of snow. Get you put in the holiday mood. Hello, Kim. How are you? Hello, Sharon. All right. Hello, Sissa. How are you, sweet friend? How are you? Been. I hope you're doing well. Hope you and your family are all doing good. All right, everybody. Let me show you what we're doing today. We're going to be using essential stencils. This is one of the ones I just received from them. It's called White Christmas Set. There we go. There's the ones in there. And the reason why I got it, Margaret, you're new. Hello, everybody. Could everybody please welcome Margaret to our page? Margaret, the first time you're here, you're a newbie. Second time you come back, you are a fancy friend. So I hope you return. Hello, Pam. Hello, Janet. Thanks for joining, everyone. Let me just show you real quick what's in this packet and the reason why I got it. I got it because of one thing. Hello, Cheryl. Hello, Juanita. Okay, so we got Let It Snow. Um, we have these are some cute ones in here, guys. Really cute. There's the truck with the tree coming out of it. Hello, Michelle. Hey, Mary Harris. Look at this one, guys. Look how cute this one is. It's the snowman going, hey, it's snowing. <laughs> Hi, Beth. How are you today? It's called the Iranian Virginia, Melinda, Amy, Penny. Oh, Penny sees some snow too. And who, who, do we have gnome lovers in the group? There's a gnome holding a snowflake. I know, isn't this cute? This one says, baby, it's cold outside and it sure is. Ooh, it's still cold in my house, guys. I know I have a puffy vest on and I know I, we're in a new craft room and I knew I didn't think I'd have to be wearing it again, but we're trying not to put the heat on so hot in my house because of the heating bills. You can get that. Hello, Patty. And this is the reason why I bought it, guys. Oh, backwards. Thank you, everybody, for welcoming me, Margaret. I so appreciate all of you. <gasps> look at that. Dreaming of a white Christmas. Now, look at that font. Does anybody remember? Yeah, I'm sure you do. You know the, the movie White Christmas with Bing Crosby? Uh, it's a classic. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad you're catching me live, too. Hello, living a heartfelt life. How are you? You're having your first snowfall today, too, Sue? Ah, uh, yeah. The first one is always the best. Um, if you remember... The Bing Crosby, White Christmas, and if you ever see the opening of it where they say what the movie is, this to my, this looks just like the font of the movie. So I had to get it, and I knew I had to use it. So um, who knows Bing Crosby, White Christmas? It's one of my favorites. Um, have to watch it every year. Thank you, everybody, for welcoming Margaret. Uh, you guys are the best. All right, so we're going to be using that one, and then we're going to be using Essential Stencil, one of their um, transfers. Oh, Kim, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, we are using, Kim put on her alarm so she wouldn't miss me. <laughs> and it's cold and rainy in Ohio. We, we probably get about the same weather in Ohio, Beth, as you do here in New Jersey. This is the Essential Stencils. This is one of their transfers. And we're going to be using this one right here. I think that was, I mean, don't, I think we're going to use that one. It all depends. You know, you start doing a project and then you change your mind. But look how pretty. Now, I tell you all the time, Essential Stencils, their transfers are really a great quality transfer, guys. I could, I, I've been using transfers for years and years and years, and I wouldn't recommend something if I didn't think it's quality. You know, when they first came out with them, I'm like, hmm, I wonder how their stencils are going to be. They are wonderful. Aw, 
Thank you, Sissa. I appreciate you too. Is that one of your favorites, Sue? Oh, uh, White Christmas? I know. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So um, they really do have great transfers, guys. And their price point, you can't beat it for transfers. You just can't. All right, so let me show you what we're using today. I got this at the Christmas tree store. It was $12.99. They consider this fall. So I got it for 70% off. They consider it full because right in here, if you could see, so you could still see a little bit of the outline. There was a pumpkin in there. It was a white pumpkin. We just um, we just painted over it. By the time we stencil, we put our transfers on there. You won't even notice that in the middle. But like I look at this. It's got the the little feet on there. You know the little cushion. So if you put it on something, it's gonna scratch. But it's solid white. Twelve ninety nine. I think it was seventy five percent off. So ah. And we got Jana. First time watching everybody. Please welcome Jana to our page. Thank you everybody. And guys, do me one big favor. Could you get those hearts going like it's Fourth of July? Um, some of our friends are not getting notifications. And if you do that. That, it puts this out into the feed and then they see it and they can come and join us for today so i appreciate you guys doing that um i i do so thank you so much um that's the only reason just i get some i got a notification yesterday they're not somebody else is not getting notification so by you doing that i so appreciate you thank you all right okay so let me show you what i did um this is what it looked like i already put two coats of my favorite white um, paint couture in arctic white that's what i used you guys didn't have to me see me paint this two coats um all right so we're gonna put our we're gonna put dreaming of a white christmas in here and then around the rim we're gonna be doing some checks oh it's gonna be so cute so let's start let's get the um let's do the stenciling first and let me get oh, of course at stenciling you guys know pixie paints pixie spray Pixie spray it's your stencil's best friend if you're going to stencil get a high good quality stencil get a good quality stencil brush i didn't get my stencil brush where here we go your stencil brush and your pixie spray and it they will come out fantastic guys you um, i promise you your stenciling will look like a pro all right so we're going to put some of that on the bottom we found a new <laughs> A new um, thing to do with pixie spray, guys. You spray it on your project. Sprinkle it with um, sprinkle it with um, diamond dust, and your diamond dust will stick. I did it yesterday on a video. It was great. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, everybody, for welcoming Jenna. I so appreciate you. Thanks so so much. All right, so let's get going. I'm going to be using my favorite green for Christmas, English ivy green, and that's what we're going to. Um, Dreaming of a White Christmas in that. And then it's got a couple of snowflakes around there. And I might use the deco art and the texture for the snowflakes around. But let's just concentrate first on Dreaming of a White Christmas in the green. All right. There we go. Ah, oh, thank you, Beth. I appreciate everybody's kind words. Thank you so much. All right. So um, this is one of my favorite guys. Put in the comments. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Terry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello, Terry Sawyer. How are you? Thank you. Guys, um, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Tell me in the comments, what is your favorite Christmas movie that you watch and it wouldn't be Christmas without you seeing it? Um, I have a couple. I can't just say one. So I know that's hard to say because you're, you're, I do have a couple. And Jeannie is our first time here from Alabama. Welcome, Jeannie. We have to welcome Jeannie, everybody. Thank you. All right, so you just take your pixie spray. Now, there's nothing over here, guys, so you say, oh, what are you spraying it on? It's water-based. It doesn't matter. It will come off, and you just, um, hold on. It's something on my, there we go. Something's on my stick. There we go. Okay. Now, you make sure you spray in the back, not the front. I sprayed it one time, and I sprayed the wrong side. So make sure you're spraying the back side of it, guys. It doesn't matter. It's water-based. It'll come off. Uh, my friend Francis from Vine and Silk Designs, she said she read from Pixie Spray if you use um, hand sanitizer, if you have a tough time getting it off, it's a light tech tack, it should be fine. She said you can use um, hand sanitizer. So, um, good tip. Thank you, everybody, for welcoming all our newbies. And remember, first time you're here, you are a um, newbie. Second time you come back, you're a fancy friend. Hey, Shelly Baker. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. I appreciate you. All right. So, we're going to just put that down. Dreaming of a white Christmas, and um, I don't know. Here I go with my OCD. Let's go, just put that down. Um, I 
I just want, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm getting it in the middle. Okay, there we go. And then when you get it down, just take it with your fingers and rub it down so the light tack, tack on the back that you just sprayed on is it's gonna stick. Hello, we got Montana in the house. Yay, thank you everybody. The Preacher's Wife with Whitney Houston. That's a good one, Dana. That's a good one. And we have Jamie Turner in the house. Thank you, Jamie, for coming on. She's a newbie, too. Welcome, Jamie. Um, Home Alone 1 and 2, absolutely. Miracle on 34th Street. It wouldn't be Thanksgiving for me if I didn't see Miracle on 34th Street. Oh, Kathleen, the old bells of St. Mary. Yes. I love old movies. My favorite my favorite channel is the Turner Classic Movie Guys. Love Turner Classic Movies. That, that's one of my favorite channels. Thank you, Edith. I appreciate you. Hey, Sharon. Sharon from Sheds from Signs and Designs. Please go follow her, guys. If you want to know anything about, really learn about stenciling, you got to go follow her. She's like the queen of stencils. She's amazing at stencils, and she uses essential stencils, too. Let's see. We have um, Mary from Ocean Breeze and Mies. Hello, Irma. All right, so we're just offloading. Like I said, I'm using English Ivy. It's my favorite green for the holidays. It's like a vintage -y green. Susan also Miracle on 34th Street. I know. That's my favorite Thanksgiving movie. That, to me, starts off thanks, um, the holiday season for me. Just love it. Now, I'm just putting... I just There's some parts right here. I want to make sure that I don't get any green into... There we go. There's a snowflake here. I want that snowflake to be gold. So... And I've got some, I just want to make sure if you get, if there's a, there's a part next to some writing, you don't want it to be the color that you're putting on the writing. Let's put down some tape. Deborah likes the older Christmas movies. Me too. Me too. I agree. The older, the better. I love Turner Classic movies. They're my favorite. My stepmother, Rose, um, I always tell her, if you hear of a goodie, an oldie but a goodie on Turner Classic, let me know. Because sometimes, you know, I don't really follow to see what's going to be on. And she lets me know. And uh, I just love Turner Classic. Oh, wow. Well. Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That is, you have to watch that. And Polar Express. Oh, yes. Those are two good ones, too, Mary. Um, when my son was young, here in New Jersey, they had a train. Um... And they um, made it look like Polar Express. And we took them for a ride on it. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. They really made the um, the car look like Polar Express. Ah! And Sue from Heartfelt Living Life says, Holiday Inn with Bing Crosby. Oh, yeah. That's another one with Bing Crosby. My sister loves that one. My sister loves that one. And actually, Sue, my sister loves your page. Um, she's the one who she goes, Kim, there's this great lady living a heartfelt life. She, and she didn't. And she goes, oh, I just love to watch her. She thinks she says she has such a soothing voice. And so um, I just had to let you know that. All right. So there we go. All right. So we have that down. And then while we're, that's down, um, I like to for the snowflakes, I'm going to use um, this is textured, guys. So it's going to give it a little bit of texture. Ooh, I forgot something right here. What am I doing? I almost forgot. Okay, there we go. I know, Christmas vacation's good. We like to watch that when my son's home from college because that's a movie he'll watch. He won't watch like White Christmas and The Bells of St. Mary and, and any of that kind of stuff. So my sister's name is Carrie. I don't know if she comments or not, Sue. Um, but her name is Carrie and she's she's like, oh, Kim, there's this woman. And she says, I love to watch her. She's she's wonderful. Uh, let's see. I just need to get a... There we go. Okay. So when I'm doing using this, I just take a stencil brush. I don't recommend using this kind of a stencil brush when you're doing your actual stencils. But when I'm doing the dabbing motion like this, this is just from the Dollar Tree, guys. And I use this brush just like that. If you can see, look. It's like a pudding. It's just like a pudding. There we go. Oh, do you, Mary? You decorate your tree watching that? Yeah, right? How fun is that? I can't wait to decorate. We always decorate our tree the day after Thanksgiving. Because that's when my son's home from school. And he can help my husband bring it up in the basement. 
<laughs> so there's a method to our madness with that. Now, okay, so when you're putting this down right here, this one right here, you don't want to, I don't do the swirling method with this. I go like that because I want them it to get texture if, if, um, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to take some of the tape off just like that because I want to, now I want to get my, you can see right there. This doesn't like totally flat because it doesn't fit into the round circle of this. So there we go, just like that. And let me take some tape off. Let's see if there's any, and there's some snowflakes there too. There we go. So you guys pretty much watch all the same movies that I love to watch during the holiday season. And then of course, you know, you got your favorite, the cartoon ones, the Frosty, the Snowman, and um, Santa Claus is coming to town, all those ones. Um, they're good to watch too. Remember when you were little and you can only watch the Christmas shows one time. That's it. They were on TV. That was it, guys, right? You didn't get a second chance. Not like now. They're taped and the kids can watch it whenever they want. Remember my family would sit around the, the my me and my sisters and my brother because there was one time to watch it and one time only. And if you missed it, that was it. Okay, so I think that should be it, guys. And then we're going to pull this off. And then we see the big, oh, no. We've got another snowflake that I missed. The big reveal. And then we can start, um, we'll put some transfers down. Oh, I got a piece of green on there. Okay, well, that, that check is going to be green then. Okay. All right, now the big reveal. Oh, let me just take this one off, this piece of tape, just to make sure that it's not, there's no snowflake hiding underneath here. No, there wasn't. Okay. So the big reveal. Hello, Trina's Electric Cottage. How are you? Thanks for coming on today. All right, guys, this is my favorite part. When you lift it up and then you can see what you created. Oh, look how pretty. All right, let me put this right here. There we go, guys. See? <gasps> Dreaming of a, whoa, hold on. Dreaming of a white Christmas is blah, blah, blah. There it is. Isn't that so pretty? It's just beautiful, and it comes out so nice if you use that pixie spray, guys. It really does. That really makes you get clean, crisp lettering, I, I, um, I'm telling you. Now, you can get it. I think you can get it at Michael's. I get mine on Amazon. If you want to find out more about it, uh, hit my link tree and hit Amazon for my Amazon store, and I have it in the crafting supplies if you want to read more about it um, to find out what it's all about. All right, so I'm just trying to dry this, and then we're going to add um, a transfer. Okay. Hello, Susie. Hello. All right, so here we go. So now we got the essential stencils transfers. <gasps> Look, guys, and when you're you get your transfers, they come. You get two sheets of these guys for the price. Two sheets of transfers. I am telling you, you cannot go wrong with the essential stencils transfers. I'm telling you, they and they're really, really, really wonderful quality. All right, so let's cut this one out, just like so. And just think of all the projects you can do. Now, I'm not sure I'm using this one, and I hope this one isn't sold out. <laughs> Sometimes I use it, and they're sold out. Guys, and if you uh, go on my link tree and hit Essential Stencils, if you do order, use my code YESTERDAY, um, and you get 10% off your order. Hello, Vivian from California. How are you? I wish they'd make transfers with a clear backing, guys. And this way you can see exactly how it's going to fall. There we go. That's going to look perfect. Okay, there we go. So you just take it off your backing. Once you take it off your backing, be careful. This is really sticky. If you touch it with your fingers, you're going to get transfer on your fingers and not on your project. All right, so let me just stand up while I do this. And let's see where I want it, exactly where I want it to be. I might cover up one of my snowflakes, but that's okay. All right, I think that's gonna look perfect right there. So there we go. Now I'm putting it down just like that. All right, and then you just get your transfer stick and you just rub it down just like so. Hello, Sandy. Holly says she loves um, essential stencils transfers. Me too, I'm telling you. I'm a, I, uh, before I started, um, doing home decor. I used to paint furniture, guys, and I used to put transfers a lot on furniture. So I've been using transfers. Oh, 
This one has glue on it. <laughs> I've been using transfers for a really long time and I've used so many different companies transfers. And um, so when they came out with theirs, I wasn't so sure about it. I'm like, a stencil company coming out with transfers and they are really wonderful guys. Uh, they really are. Hello, Vicki. Hello, Sandy. And if I'm missing it, saying hello to anybody, I so apologize if I miss any of you. And I will try to go back at night um, and look at the comments. And if you have any um, questions and I don't answer it from the comments, guys, you can always private message me um, on my Yesterday's Tomorrow's page. I don't mind. And I'll get that more likely get back to you if you private message me. There we go. This is going to be so pretty. Hello, Janet, how are you? So today we're doing stenciling, we're doing transfers, um, and they really stick well, they really do. Now you wanna put a top coat on this. Now because this is a tray and I wanna, you know, if you're gonna, I would take a glass dish if I was gonna serve something on here, that's just me. Um, especially if you wanna make sure whatever top coat you're putting on, if it's, if it's food safe or not, you're just not sure. So I would just use a glass plate on top and then you could put your hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. But I will be putting a top coat on here. And this is the one I'm gonna use. Um, it's by Pink Couture. It's Extreme, Extreme Guard Top Coat. And this is made for furniture and cab kitchen cabinets. So if that can tell you, uh, it's um, water resistant, dries clear, UV protective. And um, this will be the hardest top coat that you can find. And that's also from all paint products um, that I have on my link tree. So if you're looking for a top coat that's going to um, be strong and not wear off, if that's what you're afraid of, it's gonna be something you know, you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. That's, that's, that's gonna be your best friend. And if you use, uh, if you go to All Pay Products, I also have a discount code for you, another 10% off. Just put yes 10 in um, there. Listen, who doesn't want to save some money nowadays, right? Yes, no, Angie, we are here, we're live. We're like Memorex, <laughs> we're live. Now, the, the smaller the detailing of the, um, the transfer, it just takes a little bit more elbow grease. The bigger surface area, like the rose, the rose is gonna come off like one, two, three. It's just a little, this is a very little, little teeny pine needles of the pine um, stem. So that takes just a little bit, a little bit more. There we go. But it's kind of, there we go. There we go. And then after you put it, after you, when you're lifting it up, if you see any color on there, just put it back down and you can just, um, like that I saw. A little bit of the stem, I just put it back down and then you just go back with your your tool and it'll come right off. There we go, there we go. <gasps> Look, and then you take your two fingers, it's a big fancy word called burnishing, just to make sure it's down so when you put your top coat on, um, it's not gonna seep underneath and lift. But look how pretty, guys. Wow, isn't that pretty? Look at that. <gasps> Good afternoon, hello Dawn, how are you today? All right, so let me show you what I did while I was off camera because you guys didn't need to see me do that. Okay, so for my measuring stick one, I like to do um, my checks. I, you can take anything you want. I just take up my my tool for for doing for applying transfers. Hello, Dawn and Vicky. All right, so I just went around like this, and I took a. Um, this is just a paint. I get this at Walmart. This is called Painters. It's acrylic paint in there, okay? And I just went around just like that, if you can. And so each one is even. I just went around just like so, okay? Then I just went around, because I want, want, I want you know, to, to do it halfway, of like, and then I just went around like that. And then I made the marks to divide that square, just like so. That was it. I just didn't want you to have to, you know, that was time consuming to do that. Not time consuming, but you guys didn't need, I just needed to explain it to you. So you just take, if you, whatever the size um, square that you want, and then just go around like that, divide it in half and go around. That's it, that's it, that's all there is to it. Hello, Carrie, hello, Patsy. All right, so now I'm just taking my green, my Irish, we're gonna just use the same green going around and let me get a better brush. Okay, there we go. And then we're also gonna put down um, some liquid leaf on there too. 
Hello, Carrie. Thank you so much for joining. And Patsy coming on. Thank you. I appreciate all you ladies. All right. So there we go. So now it's my favorite green. Guys, this is so great with, let me show you what I use for Christmas. This Apple Barrel Tuscan Red. Those are a match made in heaven for Christmas, guys. I'm telling you. All right. So there we go. All right. So let's just do our... Now, it, it just doesn't have to be perfect. I like my squares perfectly imperfect, guys. They just don't have to be perfect. There we go. So there we go. There's one of our green squares. I don't like mine perfect. If you like yours perfect. But to me, I'll, I'd make myself crazy trying to make them perfect. There are some people who do, you know, like Debbie from um, Studio... Oh, I can't always get her page made up Studio MDZ or something like that. Debbie, if you're watching, I apologize. making Messing up your name. And then there's the Rustic Seed. Um, what's her name? The Rustic Seed. Um, she does wonderful checks too. And um, I'm learning. But I just like mine perfectly imperfect. And it's long. Guys, crafting should be fun. It should be something that you go into your room and you do and you enjoy. And when it looks beautiful to you, it's beautiful. Holly, it's my favorite green. It's called English Ivy Green. Studio MDAZ. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, that's her. She's, I mean, she's just wonderful with her checks. Isn't, I mean, I don't know if I would ever be able to compete with her. Not that I would compete. I don't, that's the, that's the wrong word to use. But she's amazing. She really is. It didn't work out too good. Hello, Colleen. I know, but Vicki, you know what the thing is? Guess what? If this didn't work out for me, what would be the worst thing for me to do? You just paint over it, right? That's it. Just paint over it. That is all you need to do. Just paint over it and try again. Now, you're going to see this is not going to be perfect, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the um, the liquid leaf. And I'm going to put the liquid leaf around here. And I'm going to put the liquid leaf here inside the rim there. Just like that. And I think that should be, it should, it would, it'll tie in the snowflakes that are gold. Oh, you did, Sissa? Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, go buy them. I'm telling you, especially the red. Um, every time when I'm going there and I want to pick up some more of this Tuscan red, oh, it disappears at the holiday time. Now, if you're just joining me if, or if you're, you know, you're, um, you're just new to the page, um, there is, I know I always say it, this is apple barrel. There is a Tuscan red in deco art. It's not the same. Okay. Just to let you know, it's not the same. I did go purchase it and, um, it, it, it's not the same. I'm like, oh, here it is. Oh, Deco R. But it's, no, it's not the same. So just, it, it, just not. So it has to be Apple Barrel. I mean, it's a pretty red, if that's the red you're looking for, but it's not that vintagey red. So look, guys, isn't that pretty? That's coming out so nice. Hello, hello, Teresa. I know she does. She does. And she would say, oh, Kim, yours checks are coming out perfect. And I'd be like, well, you're being very kind, but. <laughs> That's right. Oh, goodness. There we go. There. So, yeah. So, like I said, crafting is supposed to be fun. You know, when you're doing it, you're not supposed to get all aggravated. Oh, this doesn't look like somebody else's. Guess what? Your project is not supposed to look like somebody else's. It's supposed to look like your project. It's not supposed to look like. Mary's or Kathy's or Sissa's or uh, my projects are not supposed to look like they're your your project is supposed to be your own and that's what makes it special that's what makes it special guys you're not supposed to if you gave somebody up this plate and all these colors if I gave every single one of you ladies this plate these colors this transfers the stencil you want to know something they would all be gorgeous and they all be different because you put your own spin on it and um, and your own personal touches on it. And that's what makes it yours. So um, when you're doing something, don't say, oh, like, you know, I, you know, like I just said, mine doesn't look like Debbie's, but it's not supposed to look like Debbie's. It's supposed to look like mine. 
So everybody's got to do their own creative touches on your project and that's what makes it yours. That's right, sis. It's our own. That's it. This is absolutely right. You make it your own. You're not supposed to make it like somebody else's. You take the tips and tricks that they teach you, but that's it. There we go. Look how pretty that's coming. There we go. And we're almost done. See, this is why, guys, I didn't want to show you how I made my squares. I mean, doing the do that in front of you, we would have been here forever. There we go. Now I have better brushes and I probably should have used my better. These are the brushes I, and I love them for applying um, decoupage and all that. But I do have some nicer ones that I got from Michaels. The same ones that Debbie uses and I have them. And you think that's what I should have used today, but it's fine because they do make a better square. They definitely do. Hi, Irma, how are you? Oh, Irma. Um, this is a, Irma, please put that on our fancy friends yesterday's page so we can all see. This is a three fourths. This is a three fourths. Whoever, somebody was asking what size is the brush. Oh, Holly, it was you. This is three fourths. And this is the one, this, this one I just get in, um, the Dollar Tree. But the, the, you know, some things don't really make a difference, but the brushes, it probably would have been a little bit more. Um, easier to apply if I use the better brushes. The kind, if you watch Debbie, she puts, um, she's, you get them in Michaels, the wash brushes, and, um, and if you can get the 40% off coupon, they're not bad, the price, and I do have them, and I don't know why I didn't use them today. It just, it just makes it a little bit easier. Good afternoon, Mary! How are you, sweet friend? Thanks for joining me today. There we go. Look at that, guys, we're almost done. So they have the clear plates in the Dollar Tree. Um, and when I'm gonna go use this for the holidays, even though I'm putting that um, Extreme Guard top coat on it, um, I will put a clear plate when I'm serving on this. And then this way you don't, um, you don't have to worry. There we go. Let me, there we go. Let me show you. Look, guys, look how pretty that looks. Okay, let me just dry this a little bit, and then we're going to add some of our gold on it. Hello, Patricia Jones. Hello, fancy friend. Thanks for coming on today. I appreciate it. But, guys, see how easy that was. And if you look, every square is not exactly the same. Some are thicker, some are thinner, but it's fine, and it looks very organic. Yeah, the Zen brushes. Thank you. I couldn't think of the name of it. Thank you. The Zen brushes. Yes, I do. I do have some of them. I purchase them uh, when I have a 40% off coupon in Michaels. Oh, I'm so excited. There's a Michaels. Um, I don't know when they're opening, but it's only, I don't know, seven minutes from my house. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, it's, my Michaels now is about a half hour away. So I don't know, is that good or bad? I might be in some kind of trouble here. <laughs> Thank you, Mary, I appreciate it. But if you don't, if, if you don't belong to the Michael's Rewards uh, program, I would um, definitely tell you to belong. Um, they do have some great, um, they give you some coupons, and, you know, extra coupons. They'll send you a 40% off or, you know, you know, different stuff like that. You love the Zen brushes too? I know, me too. I don't know, I have them right over there. I didn't even think to use them. All right, next time, next time, ladies. We will have to use them. <laughs> All right, so let's just dry this, and then I'm gonna add some, a little bit of this, and I'm gonna add a little bit of white going through the green, guys, and that's gonna make it look really pretty. Actually, I'm gonna get my Zen brushes for that. There we go. I will, yeah, so, and then if you're like me, and you're a senior citizen, <laughs> you get, um, they give you 10% off too, guys. So if you're a senior citizen, um, let them know at Michael's. Just go in, bring your, your license, and then it automatically goes on your rewards card. So every time you go there, they will give you um, your 10% senior citizen comes off. This is, a, this is their Christmas transfer. 
right here. Oh, I'm not sure which one it is. They only have a few, guys, so I apologize that I don't know the name of it. But they only have a couple, maybe two or three, so it's not going to be hard to see which one. Yes, really, Angie, they do. They, If that's what you're asking, they have, um, they have senior student discount. And I believe the senior citizens discount is 55 and old, old, older. So it's good and bad, right, Irma? Yeah. So it's 55 and older for the senior citizens discount in Michaels. And that's including the sale that they give you. Yes, I am a senior, Mary. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> My birthday was in June, and now I can collect Social Security. Oh my God, isn't that crazy? Hello, Kathy Lynn, how are you? There we go. All right, so let me get my, hold on guys, let me get my Zen brush. Hold on, hold on, let me go get them. There we go. Okay. See, I have them, there we go. <gasps> yes, it's 55, right, yeah, I know. Um, I didn't know it either. One of our fancy friends uh, let us know, and um, how great was that? So, yeah, these are the ones that I got. They're really great. Um, but get them when they're on sale, and, and it's not a bad price. It's really not. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of white. No, Angie, guess what? My senior sit my, my place where I get my Dunkin' Donuts, they don't give it. <laughs> I asked after you told me the last time, Angie, and um, they don't do it. So... I said, did you give the senior some discounts? They said, no. Okay. Oh, well, mine doesn't. They should give me some kind of discount. I'm basically there almost every day getting iced tea. All right, so you just want to do a wash on the, um, on the green, guys. Lowe's has it too. Okay, oh, that's good to know. Oh, yeah, of course. I just ask. So now I just have some weight on here, guys, and I'm just, just... Now maybe I took too much off. There we go. See, and I'm just hitting it with a little bit. There we go. See, just hitting it with a little bit of the white. And I think that really just gives it a little something. See, let me just show you. There we go. See how I'm hitting it with a little bit of the white in there? That really makes it look really pretty. Yes, I, it comes real quick. <laughs> Come, I remember, you know, when I was younger and people say, oh, I, I can get Social Security now. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're old. What the heck? It's crazy. Yeah, see, these brushes make it, you know, they make it a lot easier. I don't know why I didn't um, remember that I had them before that. But you just want to do a light brushing of the white on there. And it makes a real big difference. Yay, thank you guys for sharing all this. I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, you know, with the prices of everything these days, if we can save a couple of dollars here and there, um, I always I always share any discounts that I can give you guys, or if I know of a sale somewhere, I always let you guys know. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate it. You love Dunkin' Donuts too. Me too. I love their iced tea. Uh, I I think I I I drink too much of it though. <gasps> too much iced tea. They know me there because <laughs> I now I now I use the app and I order to go. I order it and it's waiting for me as I get there. <laughs> what the heck? All right. But see how that was so much easier. So now I I've added the white to it. Look how pretty that looks. Yes, it sure is. I hope I uh, inspire Mackenzie Child. <laughs> I hope I'm doing her proud. OK, so now we're just getting a little. Now we're just going to add a little bit of the gold to that. And for that, I think I'm just going to use, um, maybe just use, yeah. These are the, when you purchase these at um, the Dollar Tree, it comes with the little thin little one in there. Let's try the thin little one. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate you. Thanks so much. All right, so this is the liquid leaf, not liquid leaf. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it is. Liquid leaf in the classic gold, guys. And make sure you shake it. This is this is not waterproof. I mean, a water based. Um, so when you open it up, it does have a smell. So if you have someone around you that's very, um, you know, with the smells, it has a hard time breathing or something. They might you might not want to be around. It's not that bad, but it does have a smell. It's not like the all the paints in here that we use that do not smell. This smells. It does have a smell to it. 
All right, so I'm just gonna add just a little bit of a line of the gold. There we go. Never, just, just here and there, just so it, then we have the gold. Um, there's some, I might add some more snowflakes too, guys, as we go along. You know, my, my, my it, it, your piece speaks to you after a while and you kind of say, oh, could use a little something there, could use this little something there. Oh, <gasps> thank you, Sue. You know, well, it wasn't that fast, guys. You know, I mean, I put the two coats of wipe on there before you got on, and I also, um, I did the, uh, you know, I formed the checks um, with my, you know, my fake ruler. <laughs> with my fake ruler. <gasps> hey, Francine, how are you? There we go. So I'll just put one. There we go. So you just put the gold where you want it to be. Just put it around, just like so. Yeah, it does have a, it does have a, it does have a smell. And be careful because if it spills, whoa, how do I know that? Oh, it spills, it's not the best. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Thank you, Sissa. Hello, White's Creative Design. Guys, and if you have a Facebook page, Please, if you have a business page, please um, put your business link in here so we all can follow each other. Guys, when you come on my page, have a pen and paper with you. Like my friend Mara says, um, in this way, write down the names of my um, other creative friends and go check out their pages um, because they're amazing and I would love for you to follow them also. Um, I have a friend of mine. If you're new to this, uh, her name is Frances from Vine and Silk Designs. She's so close in getting to one of her goals. Um, so if you would do me a favor and go follow her, um, I would appreciate that. There we go. <gasps> well, look at, see how it looks pretty with the gold? It looks, whoa, it looks really pretty. Okay, so now I'm thinking just to right here in the rim, do it with the gold too. Now I'm gonna need, I'm gonna use one of my Zen brushes with that. So I wanna get that perfect. Where did I put the other one? Uh, hmm, no, that's gonna be too, let me see, is this one too wide? Yeah, it's gonna be too wide. Let me get a narrower one. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. There we go. All right. There we go. Now we have another one. There we go. Okay. I think this one will be better. Yeah. Okay. So just around here, if you can see right here, the lip right here, I think I'm gonna make that gold inside. Thank you, Sissa, for putting that in there, guys. Please go follow my friend Sissa. She's so she's wonderful. And she's so nice. Sissa, you probably you're the one of the sweetest people I know. Thank you so much. Hello, Juanita. Excuse me, guys. I'm getting a, a scratchy throat. Thank you, Penny. I appreciate that. So this is another one. Now, um, I don't know if I like the long ones. I I not it's not feeling comfortable on my hands. I think I like the shorter, um, the shorter stem ones, but that's all up to you. Oh, you like to watch Frances too? She's awesome. I know, isn't she? <laughs> I've known Frances for such a long time now, and she's just so nice. All right, so let's, we're going to start putting the gold in here. Yeah, that's going to look pretty right in there. And it works really well with these end brushes, guys. Yeah, it's going to bring it all together. Now this, I gotta concentrate on, guys. <gasps> I'm concentrating. You are, Sissa. So please go follow my friend Sissa. She's got a great page, and she's the sweetest. There we go. Oh, also, guys, remember, um, if you don't know about it, we are gonna be having the trimming of our fancy friend's Christmas tree soon. Um, it's going to be the week after Thanksgiving. So if you want to send in an ornament to put on our Christmas tree here, I would love it. You can find my address on my um, Facebook page. And this is our second annual. Oh, that's going to be pretty on there. This is going to be our second annual. And if you send in an ornament, make sure whatever you send it in the box or bag or whatever has your name and address on it. Because one, we, we, I don't open them up. We open them up together and then we hang it on our, we trim the tree together to trim the tree party. And then all the names 
from that I take off the boxes and the bags from the ornaments will go into the drawing to win some good gift aways, guys. Oh, I have some good gift aways. Um, do I say totally dazzled? Do I say um, all paint products? Do I say essential stencils? So um, please go uh, come send an ornament. You could be in a special drawing. Now that doesn't say that just when you come on, if you don't send in an ornament, um, you won't be in. I'm going to be also doing some drawings for just for that night, um, just for the party, the tree trimming party. But if you send in a, um, an ornament, you're in a special drawing. Oh, Pam, you're never late to my page. You're. This is what replay's for. So just watch the replay too and you can see what we're doing here so send in some ornaments um i got three so far guys three thank you tracy campbell i appreciate you thanks so much yes go make sure you go check out our next creator that's going to be on on craft around the clock and guys if you also if you're new to this page and you don't belong to Craft Around the Clock group, go belong to the Craft Around the Clock group. It's a free group, and you get crafting on there 24-7. 24-7. I think, Angie, did you win the Totally Dazzled last time? Last Christmas one? I think you did, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Okay, I just want to make sure I... Do not like to infringe on anybody's time. But look, guys, isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that's coming out. So, guys, that they might still have this, these, this um, tray. This was just, this was in their fall section of the Christmas tree store. And I know they have, I think it's 75% off in their fall section of the Christmas tree. So if you belong, if you have one in your area, um, go check it out. Now I will take a picture of this guys and I will um, put it on there for you so you can see the finished product um, when I'm done. Cause you know, I always like to tweak it here and there. And and uh, so when I'm done though, I will absolutely put a picture of it on there. There we go. Thank you. Oh, you did win it? I thought so Angie. Last year Angie won the gift. Um, the gift card to um, Totally Dazzled last time. So uh, yeah, so send in your Christmas ornaments, guys. Um, it, I don't know what day, but it'll be, the, it'll be the week after Christmas. I mean, oh gosh, the week after Thanksgiving. So um, please send it in. It might be, you know, right after Thanksgiving, so get them in soon. Thank you. What the, okay, we got just a couple more minutes. What, oh, now we do. Oh, all right, guys, <laughs> I'm running out of time. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. God bless you. Prayers for everyone who needs them. Go see our next presenter, guys. I'm running out of time. Bye, everyone.